That was such a long time ago. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you guys are noticing, I am dressed for fall in early August. Fall is my favorite season. It has the most beautiful hues of reds, orange, yellows, browns, and even purples. If you really, really take a hard look at the leaves, this video is going to be one of many seasonal videos I'm going to be having here on my channel. And as you guys may have noticed, I've already put out a few fall decor videos, or at least showing you guys what some stores have in as far as for fall decor as well as Christmas. I am super excited and I cannot wait to share with you guys what are my inspirations, my tips, how I budget and how I plan to decorate for fall as well as show you guys a little bit of what I have already here in stock for the fall decorating season. Before we start, take a look around your house and see if there's any items that no longer bring you joy, you're not using such as unused furniture, clothing items, or even decor pieces, and have a garage sale or even sell them on the Facebook Marketplace. I've sold items on the Facebook Marketplace beforehand, and that's where I sold the rocker and foot glider that I had with Riley. I made 50 bucks and honestly, it was just a good way to get rid of a furniture piece that I was no longer using and make a little bit of extra cash. So definitely do this step before you begin anything of your planning process. My first step after I do that is just look for some inspiration and get started on a mood board. Definitely start with Instagram, Pinterest. Pinterest is like the best way to start just because you can go from a more macro level of searching for inspiration to a more micro level meaning you can put in keywords such as fall decor 2020, farmhouse decor, um, modern farmhouse, or just traditional fall decor colors, and you will get so much inspiration, so many blog posts, colors, palettes, and so much more. But then you can go to a more micro level as like fall front porch 2020 trends or bedroom fall decor 2020. My style in particular is more rustic farmhouse, modern farmhouse, if that makes any sense. But for fall, I really do love the reds, oranges, yellows, and purples. However, this year I find myself gravitating more towards the more neutral tones like the whites, creams, the light blues and the light greens, which is a big shocker for me. So I will be incorporating those tones with the more like the reds and the oranges as well. Another thing that I'm really debating about is getting a milk crates for the front porch. I have an idea of what I want to do, but I just don't know if I want to get them quite yet. They would be a universal piece, so if I do get them, it would be a piece that I can use year round. So that's another pro tip right there. Get a piece that is not only going to serve multiple purposes, but that you can use year round so that you're not buying a lot of decor pieces. Step number two is to go around your home and pick three to four places that you want to decorate. Now for me, we're in one of those spaces. It is the kids' nursery room slash toddler room. I'm already starting off with just having a lot of more neutral tones in here. So that's the vibe that I am going with in this particular room. The other two spaces that I, or three spaces that I want to kind of decorate for fall is the front porch, the coffee bar, and our bedroom as well. Each of these spaces kind of has its own theme, but it really ties in together, at least in my mind, <laughs> it does. So like for our bedroom, I am feeling more of the navy blue and oranges in there. For the coffee bar, kind of want to keep it fun. So like maybe a witch theme with some Hocus Pocus because I really do love that movie. And then up in the front porch is going to be more like pumpkins and put like mums or like maybe like 
oranges and purple ones so I am really really excited to see how everything is going to come together but just picking three to four places to decorate will not only be budget friendly but it would also keep your house less cluttered because that's another thing that I am gravitating towards I don't want my house to feel cluttered or to have like a fall decor explosion that everywhere you turn is fall decor galore so just by doing that it allows me to be more minimalistic and to keep everything budget friendly <laughs> one thing that I did forget to mention previously was that I'm also feeling a lot of florals the copper and amber I ordered some pompous grass it's supposed to get in here today I don't know when but somehow it's supposed to get here today and I am going to be utilizing that pompous grass right here in the kids room as well as our bedroom and I'm thinking that instead of having the more typical like white vase or clear one maybe get a copper or an amber vase I think it looks stunning and I really can't wait to actually start decorating for fall and putting those pieces together because I feel like the pompous grass with those two color schemes or vases would be a piece that I can keep year round as well. Step number three is to take pictures of your spaces and I know that might seem silly because we live in our home or in our apartments every single day but you don't realize that you tend to forget how your spaces look like when you're out shopping for decor and sometimes are playing a guessing game of whether or not certain pieces are going to fit into that space like your bedroom or your living room or how it's going to look so when you take a picture and bring that with you you can kind of see already at the store whether or not that piece is going to work in that living room space or in your bedroom and it's another way to keep you on a budget as well as making sure that the pieces actually fit in your spaces Step number four I believe is crucial and that is to check your inventory before you go out shopping. Countless of times I've done this to myself where I've purchased the same exact piece or the same exact style thinking that I did not have that at home and meanwhile I did. So this time around before I headed out to Hobby Lobby I checked my inventory and I was surprised to see that what I thought I had for fall decor was really not a lot of pieces so this gave me an idea of what I needed to get what I didn't have and what I did have so that not only I was able to keep everything you know budget friendly but just you know keep everything within the same style as well step number five is to make a list and this obviously goes hand in hand with step number four which was to check your inventory so now that you know what you have and what you don't you can make a list of the items that you want to purchase that you need so that when you go into the store you don't feel like you have to buy every single piece because I know that's happened to me before where I wanted to get everything but because I had my list it kept me accountable and it saved me money in the long run Finally, step number six is to go shopping. Some of my favorite stores to go shopping is Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx, um, Target Dollar Spot or Target in general, Walmart, Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has been stepping up their game when it comes to decor and sometimes they have the same items such as like Hobby Lobby or Kirkland for a fraction of the price. Um, Home Goods is another place to shop at as well as Marshalls. And Etsy, the only thing I will say about Etsy is that you have to keep in mind the shipping process because sometimes it can be quick while other times it can take longer. So you, it just depends on the shop owner and the item itself. So definitely keep that in mind. So if you want to get something, maybe start thinking about purchasing it from Etsy around mid-July or end of July at the latest early August so that you have those items before you start decorating. Now the fun part is about to begin which is where I share with you guys my little haul of the items that I have purchased so far. I still have to get a couple of things like the pumpkins and mums that are going to go out in the front porch but I figured those won't be around until like end of August early September. And the only other thing that I don't have here as of yet because it's coming in tonight is the pompous grass but I will be showing you guys a picture but I cannot wait to show you guys what I already have. 
All right, you guys, as I was setting everything up on my kitchen table, because I didn't think of any other way that I was going to be able to showcase everything to you guys, my pompous grass just came in, and I will be showing this first. I am super excited. I'm out of breath because I bolted to my door to get this. I ordered it, I believe, last Wednesday, so it got here pretty quick from New York. And the shop here is from Etsy. It's called For Love of Pompous. So definitely check them out. I actually found them thanks to Chris Teixeira. I sent her a DM on Instagram asking where she got her pompous grass because I've been looking everywhere for them. Could not find them, and I just remember that she had them for her daughter's nursery. And she sent me the link to this store right here, and I purchased them immediately. Oh my god, this is so amazing! Look, guys, it comes beautifully wrapped right here. And they do have an Instagram by the same name as well for the love of Pompous or for love of Pompous. I think that's it, but it comes in with a little. Thank you, little note over here for, I don't even know what I'm saying, but it comes here with a little note that says thank you for your order on a twine. Woo. I am so excited to see how it looks because I ordered the white version that they had going on there and I'm super stoked. They had this beautifully packaged here. I don't want to like mess it up anything there's more right there look you guys so this is what the pompous grass looks like i ordered i believe a set of 25 or 17 dollars plus shipping and i can't wait to see how they look let me just pull one out so that i'm not pulling everything but this is what a single stem looks like, at least the one that I ordered. And I can't wait to put this in the kids' nursery room slash toddler room, as well as in our bedroom. I just need to get the vases and we should be good to go. I don't want to like damage any single piece right here. There we go. So we're going to put this back to how it was. So if you guys are on the hunt for some pompous grass, definitely check out For Love of Pompous both on Instagram and on Etsy. So let me put this aside so that it doesn't get all ruffled. <laughs> so the items that I have here and the candle back there are a mixture of three different stores, Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, and TJ Maxx. The candle, I got it at TJ Maxx. I believe it was $6.99 and it's a pumpkin spice scenting smell and it smells so beautiful right now i wish you guys could smell it dollar tree i just picked up these pumpkins right here i believe kirkland's and michael's have them as well but at kirkland's i think they're much bigger and definitely more expensive and then michael's has similar ones to these for like five dollars i think they're on sale right now but dollar tree obviously for a dollar and i got them with our initials except for Riley because I couldn't find an R but there was an S and I debated about getting it and now they don't have any more so I might have to make a run to Michael's just to get one for her because we did get one for the baby and I'm not going to be showing the initial just because I do want to do that for the birth you know reveal his name and all that good stuff but we got these at Dollar Tree then I got these signs right here or little writings I don't know what you want to call them at Hobby Lobby and I figured that I can use all four of them for uh, the coffee bar and put these actually these three right here on the cake stand and this one I don't know where I'm going to put it I might just hang it up with like a command strip there or um, maybe even put it on the front porch I don't know I still am working on that but I really love these pieces Next item I got at Hobby Lobby was this coffee mug right here and it says sweater weather and it brings like a gingham or buffalo check however you guys want to call it pattern. Inside this one is white and I believe like a light gray or a light blue. They had another one that was the mug was um, an orange color and it said like let's get cozy or something like that 
but it did bring in the buffalo check pattern inside and I didn't really like that so I went with this one instead and I like it that it has it not only in the front the whole uh, sweater weather but it also has it on the other side so however you hold it you have the saying in there the biggest purchase I made at Hobby Lobby was this good big chunk of doormat right here and it says hello pumpkin I would have preferred it without the pumpkin just with the writing itself but they didn't have that option there I believe Etsy does have the doormat with just hello pumpkin but it was going to take like over two months or like a month and a half to get here so I just figured I'd go with this instead this was $20 but with their 40% off sale I think I got it for like $11.99 so if you're looking for a doormat or anything of the sort definitely go now to Hobby Lobby they're having a 40% off sale and you can get these bigger ticketed items for a lot less and lastly I got this right here buffalo check rug now this is what I mean like to get those pieces that could be universal because not only could I use this for fall with the doormat but I can also use this when Christmas time comes around and even year round just place a different doormat on there and it will look totally beautiful and chic out in your front porch so this is like one of those pieces like I said that is universal and you can use it for many many different things this I believe was 11 not 11 it was $17.99 and with the 40% off sale I believe I got it for like 9 or 10 and wow I just dropped that <laughs> as I was saying before I knocked everything down this rug right here was $17.99 but I believe I got it with their 40% off sale for $9 to $10 so definitely check out Hobby Lobby right now since they are having that sale on a lot of their fall decor pieces. But that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys did enjoy hearing my planning process, my tips and tricks on how to budget, as well as what I plan to do for fall 2020. Please give this video a thumbs up. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank mm -hmm. you.